These are the AirPods. And like any other Apple product, they're perfectly packaged. Beyond the outer box, the inner case that the AirPods are packed in just feels really right. I can't explain it, but there's something about the shape and density of it that makes it a pleasure to hold and handle. The case is not only the protector and transporter of the AirPods, but it's also the hub for charging. On the bottom of it, there's a lightning port, so when you're done using the AirPods or you've drained the battery, you just pop them in and the case charges them up with its internal battery. I'm a huge fan of this because although the AirPods are tiny and don't house a huge battery, this case gives me hours of use. The hinge on the case does collect a fair amount of dust though, which irritates the perfectionist in me, but it doesn't seem to affect opening or closing it. Speaking of opening the case, it is extremely satisfying. Living in the age of fidget cubes and spinners, this case fits right in. It's perfectly weighted so you can open it by just pushing up with your finger, and when it's time to close it, the magnets make it easy. The AirPod slots also have magnets to ensure their safety in the case if tipped upside down, and it also works for just quickly putting the AirPods in the case as they snap into place because of the magnets. It works really well. The AirPods resemble a slightly thicker and longer stemmed EarPod with no wires, so hate it or love it, that's what you're left with. Colorware, the kings of customization have just come out with paint jobs for these, so that should help soften the blow a bit of the looks. I mean, the looks aren't terrible, and as a girl, my hair mostly covers it, but for anyone with shorter hair, these are definitely an eyesore. Like all Apple products, they'll become a fashion symbol as more and more people start to wear them, but right now, they kinda just look alien. AirPods fit snugly in the ear, or they don't. They are a one-size-fits-all kind of thing, so Apple is banging on them fitting most people's ears, but there are definitely some people that they just won't fit. Your best bet to see if you are one of those people that can uh, rock AirPods without them falling out is to try the wired, slightly less glamorous version, EarPods. I will say though that EarPods fall out of my ears occasionally, but AirPods don't because of the weight distribution and the fact that they're truly wireless so there's no cord pulling them down. So yeah, AirPods are part of a new fast growing category called truly wireless earphones. That means that there's no wire going into your phone and no wire connecting the buds. This has been done in the past by other manufacturers, but pairing was always a long ordeal and defeated the purpose that they sought out to provide convenience. I would rather take wired headphones and plug the cable into my phone in just the 5 to 10 seconds that that takes than have to pair my headphones for 5 minutes and have a spotty connection when actually listening to them. AirPods fix this. Built with Apple's W1 chip, pairing is as easy as popping the top and clicking connect. From that initial 3 second exchange, the AirPods will pair instantaneously with all other Apple devices connected to the account. The integration with the Apple Watch in particular is extremely well done. You can adjust the volume and skip tracks without needing to call for Siri, making the AirPods a bit less of an embarrassment in public, but honestly, a $400 watch shouldn't be needed to have decent control over these. The only way to adjust the volume, skip a track, or control your music in any other way besides pausing it is through Siri. Once the phrase, hey Siri is said, you can input the command. Voice commands work fine in the comfort of your home, but once you're out in public, you'll be battling background noise to try to say something as simple as raise the volume or skip the track. I would have loved to see an implementation of touch controls along the stem of these, but maybe that's something that we'll see in generation two. So you probably read this title and are a little bit confused at this pretty positive review, but I haven't mentioned sound quality, and sound quality is where my mistake was made. I assumed that for the $150 $50 price, these would sound great, or at least better than earpods, but they just don't. I was viewing them from the wrong perspective. Airpods are made for the ease of use, and as stated before, the convenience factor. And sound quality is kind of secondary to that. I mean, don't get me wrong, these sound okay, and I'm definitely going to keep using them, but you should know going in, if you buy these, you're buying them for the cordless aesthetic and quick pairing, and not for audiophile sound or anywhere near that. So at the end of the day, would I recommend these? It depends. If you want truly wireless earphones, these are the best out right now, but if you could deal with a cord around your neck, Beats X also have the instantaneous pairing, 
and I checked those out a few weeks back. I definitely expected more from these guys in terms of sound, but with that said, I'm gonna keep them around for everything else that they offer.